Thank you, Abba Adonai, for your many blessings. I sent your presence, and mercy is your very essence. In want and wealth, you are just and full of grace. With humble praise, may we recall this day. Your eminence, my most sincere sentiments are hard to convey in the space of a few sentences. Since apprenticeship, I've dreamt of this, and so the emphasis of what I present you with is indebtedness. And in such dark days as this, your patronage is like a flaming wick, a sacred kiss, if your grace permits. I'd like to emphasise, I recognise you did take a risk, dismissing others' famous gifts and favouring my namelessness. So forgive my lack of haste, this labour's been the weightiest I've undertaken, and yet to our arrangement I've been faithful, yes. My wife and I have slaved at it, shaping it for 80 days at least. Without delay, let me display one of the beasts. See, I've learnt the lines, but I can't steady these nerves of mine. We've been over this a thousand times. You work sublime. Any doubt will have faded once they've seen it. Come now! Say it like you mean it! Enter now. Outnumbered and outright Refuse to move without my spell And now Trust me, go in and take a bow As for you, you mutton-faced miserable bore of a Your eminence, my most sincere sentiments are hard to convey. And they're hard to convey. Yes, so it would seem. Please start with your name. Osbert, and my wife is... a firebrand. She's the most inspiring woman in the entire land. Scribe, bring to the front of our minds the next appointment, young man. You are running out of time. It's the head of the watchman, the emergency plan. Oh, yes. A third of the earth scourged and then damned. Please continue your act. You've been summoned. Now, speak. What, the dean of my commission, has he gone for the week? He's gone for the long winter's sleep. Winter's sleep, but it's spring. He belongs in this sea. Please, state your purpose and don't preach for an hour. I fashioned the grotesque, the creatures of power. I brought one of the seven, a proof of our labours. Soon, the pupils will pierce the roofs of your neighbours. The dean who commissioned this... Oh, his words were unforgettable. He said, the Lord has truly blessed you. All the more regrettable that your seven monsters will never survey these streets. We need to instill hope, and that is no mean feat. Towards us flows a flood of horrid corpses. Morbid contortions carried into town by sordid forces. And so on the eve of this most heinous invasion, shall we decorate this haven with brazen desecration? Stone Mason, do you mean to mock the sick and the afflicted? Never. These are great guardians in granite depicted. Silent protectors, like the fire swords in Eden, driving up hexes for to fight against demons. I speak from the heart like the martyr St. Stephen. That man had good reason to vex the Sanhedrin. So stop spinning yarns. You're a natural man, trying to lift more than he actually can. You don't believe half the words you recite. Your faith is a borrowed one. Maybe your wife, Tiff. Tifari, Tifara, am I saying it right? You mimic her as she imitates Christ. We wish you no ill. Be blessed by the Father's hand. Christ tends to the lepers, not to artisans. I'm at a loss. The craft is completed. Then around your own hands, let them be seated. Your eminence, will I receive full payment still this morning? Is it from heaven or hell this plague is now spawning? Listen. This work was completed with the help of money lenders. 
One of them removes the light from every room that he enters. Those that can't pay up, the Whisperer dismembers. He decapitated the town crier. This you must all remember. Have mercy. I desperately need our full reward. There is none forthcoming. This expense we can't afford. Please, I fashioned what the council ordered. I mean, have you no pity? You've signed our death warrant! Wait! One last time! We've slaved at this for weeks! Behold the seventh grotesque! My finest beast! Cover it! Cover it! And get out! Out! your father awaits. And there's no black bulbs adorning their skin? No, just a bit of cold that normally wins. There's two ways out of town, the car to the dead, or one of these bolts in your heart and head. And that would be a mess if you harbour the plague. The town will be locked down starting today. Old wives tales, I can prove you wrong sir Really? So we're not facing doom? Your choice is mass grave or a basic tomb All cursed, all buried in the earth If worse comes to worst, old people die first And Lucifer's thirsty And he better urinate cause his blood it is bursting And I'm begging God for mercy When I'm bedridden may it be young women who nurse me Windmills to pay my bills I got a full set of teeth and my razor kills Speaking of kills, I propose a toast To the killer of the island You've disposed at least half my foes Dealt and blows and only their ghosts arose Pestilence You got such green fingers You sow when you reap in a month As the king heard About your incredible skills Leave strange fruit rotting In the meadows and hills Better act swift Oh, an eclipse You need a good woman Who's heavy at the hips Here's my round Come celebrate Marcus One last time Before we call each other carcass Funny now What, funny like a clown? Yeah, that's a funny sound Head north if you're running out of town Cause it's sunny in the south But they're coughing up the honey in their mouth If you leave any money in your house When the rupture is announced I'll be round, comforting your spouse That's right, roll that dice Meagerly priced, just heed my advice See this man here is colder than ice Why that look? Are you not having fun? Here it is, try holding my tongue Open your fist. Open your fist. So, you persist to hold and resist. What an oath of a trick. That time being thrice, it occurs to my mind. What unholy omen is this? When was the last time you confessed? Uh, a fortnight, maybe less. So any pardoning offer then is now long spent. I know your type. The sort to go to church in search of blessings, yet all the while ogling its contents. And seeing you now, a lost wreck, hanging by a slender thread of mercy, the question is, what's next? 
And now, Sharper, I know you will do what you're asked to do. I am your new master, and I have a simple task for you. Yes, sir, with no exception, but of what nature? Excellent question. First, account for your behavior. At church, genuflect. Don't neglect to confess your sin. And as luck would have, whilst there on bended limb, collect token of apology. Gold is very elegant. Shall we say, one of its clerics, many relics, as a special gift. To steal from church coffers? No. You take of the squanders and bold extravagance that mar the deep beauty of the sacraments. And sharper, your loyalty lies with this fellowship. To deceased priests, your sorrows are most irrelevant. Remember, you steal from a miserly purse, and one housed in a treasury, disguised as a church. I'm sending you back to the stonemason's place. Why now? The Whisperer's given him two more days to pay. Oh, but here's the most incredible fact. He's waived the interest, he's changed the contract. Osbert doesn't know this yet, and he's so in debt. Pay him a visit, he won't forget. Our master's mercy is more than absurd. I say we split the interest, and we all get a third. Osbert! Open the door! Our wager is hiding inside. We've spoken before. Have we loosened your bowels yet? Are you soaking the floor? You cannot spin a yarn once I've broken your jaw. Mark the day, Art as Anson Boniface is upon us. And you promise? With that face as honest as a Madonna's. The Whisperer demands his pay. Cough up a bag of silver, sir. Keep this creature at bay. Marcus, please. Am I not a reasonable man? Nah, you're a mad dog who sinks his teeth into hands. Make to flee, yes. And get crippled by hounds. Transformed into a corpse, blood dribbling down. As a matter of fact, it need not come to that. Osbert knows we have eyes on every corner of the map. Are you listening? You want to see this villain get vicious? We'll take your missus and scrape out your innards with scissors. Oh, I miss these little visits. His next guest will give him killer kisses. In minutes of bloated and blistered grimace. In summation, any object to the whisperer's scorn will wish that he or she had never been born. And you've been warned. You have till dusk. No use running for your life. You better have something for us. Your money or your wife. my love, please don't beat yourself up. With your charm, I've had enough. Do you wish to sleep rough? I foresee the bleakest black blossoms of sorrow, a bloody cacophony of catastrophic tomorrows. Those who heeded warning and fled are now mourning the dead. So widespread and skilled it kills four in a bed. Do you think the Lord would withhold his grace? Like I always say, my dearies, be fearless. You've got to have faith. Days are fast, and now we wander like mules. 
Fist of Fury will fall on our pates like drunk fools. Our fate's cruel. We just left the town where hate rules. And our workshop, our finest pieces, our great tools. Dear, listen. Clear your vision. We had to flee. This path is a provision, so do not be mad at me. This is the world for which words were invented. Each phrase speaking your praise in flood flues. This is the milky mammoth we remember be so contented. Each day marvels displayed like bloody wounds. Your passion, the seeding of Adam, is now a tree. Be ati pacifici to the bones of its being. The ash sings softly of the crown three, of silver down river, gold in the unseen. Come, eat. Come, eat. That's not a phrase one should need to repeat. Come, sit by the coals, warm your souls. Bitter cold departs once there's soup in your bowl. Your faces are painted with a tale of fresh pain, though I understand if you don't care to explain. We're harassed, we're outcasts. That's all you need to know. No tribe, no quest. No surprise you read our woe. We're headed north, but now we're weary. So sleep. Awake tomorrow as a new Adam and Eve. Heading north, while well, north of the river is ill. Though there were strong saints praying for deliverance still, the plague is a speaking sight. It asks, will you repent if the reaper is seeking your life? Consciences are awoken. Yes, and hardened hearts revealed, and penitent confessions made of crimes long concealed. But can it not be escaped? I do not wish to choose death. Our corpses will be quickened. New spirit, new flesh. Do you know what time the cock crows? And if he's scared of the crow? Surely a mason knows what's written in stone. Who are you? How do you know our trade? Just a servant, and your hands betray the beauty you've made. We hope the next town's a more virtuous place. You could search for an age, trying to find one that might nurture your urge to create, but each church is submerged in the plague. And it's brought us to you, and you want us to stay? There's shelter here, brethren. Listen to wisdom. You're welcome to stay, but your arms, I won't twist them. So, at night you roam the woods? I commune with the Lord. Fear not, you'll see daylight far sooner than swords. Take rest. I won't be back when you awake. May the Holy Ghost stay close, whichever path you take. Let go of the thorns of your pride. Let's rest for the night. Heed these words, O oh apple of my eye. Did you walk in your sleep? Explain yourself now so I can offer a critique. I didn't want to wake you. I needed to act. And it's much safer if you don't follow my tracks. Am I a burden now, excluded from plans? May you be damned. How dare you leave me cold and alone, you stupid man? Wait, something happened. In the dead of the night? Has a pack of wolves given you better advice? I cherish your every word like a sign in the sky. But tonight I had a vision that I cannot deny. A vision? Wow, that's a miracle, Lord. Since when have you been open to a spiritual force? Please, hark the words that pour out of my soul. As I slept and I dreamt someone else took control. I was stood by the river with the Christ as the guide. He said, let go of your scepter, cast it aside, a scepter. I looked down at my hand, and there was a cylinder symbolising all control of the land. I had a horrible thirst, but I couldn't kneel down. I was mocked by the water's glorious gurgling sound. He repeated, let it go, or you'll never find peace. So I did it, I dropped it, and fell to my knees. And I drank of the river, 
and was jolted with joy and a fierceness of vision no man can destroy. And now I know I need to go back to the church and hoist a creature right up to its perch. Are you insane? Why would you ever retrace your steps, with every stride moving even closer to death? I don't know, but it's clear that the creature must rise. The Christ he spoke hope with his twinkling eyes, and not for vanity's sake. I'm dead to ambition. And listen, I know it sounds like a foolish decision. This is happening now. You're sounding like a believer. Are you sure it really was a lord and not some deceiver? I quote to you what you say every day. My dearest, be fearless. You've got to have faith. This quest has consequences. It may end in a noose. But tonight I fight, even if it's life that I lose. If this fearless mission is as straight as you talk, then I'll stand by your side and I'll pray as we walk. We are loped on sunny slopes, but this moment I'll save. We'll make for an early grave, but dealing, your hope is brave. Fortune's occasion, the Master Stonemason. I'd begun to think you'd forgot our arrangement. So long have I waited, I'm left with no patience, and still you withhold my repayment? What say you? Those that commissioned my work were unfaithful, so the delay. Enough! And such fables are of little consequence. The time has come for you to honour this debt and let justice rest on your head. At what expense? What's the cost of flesh? Let me ponder this. For now, three fingers will suffice. A pittance of a price. Next moon, a whole limb, and then your life. Make your choice. Which are we to slice? The digits of your right. Such decision can wait. Soon, take what you like, but not before I've finished this tonight. Know your position, lest I stick you in the side. Why are you itching for a fight? Why are you itching for a fight? Fine. Exhibit this ominous incubus. Yet be ready once done to leave the scene fingerless. Fingerless? This is it? After such insolence from a pernicious little pig as this, the discipline inflicted is the threat to leave fingerless! Think on this! How great is his debt and how long have you permitted his thriftiness and yet standing here still he lives? My thinking is this is indicative of your timidness. And now, it is time that I and my affiliates were rid of it. How many such as him will you let slip the net and still expect swift respect? You wonder why his bill is still unmet? I've seen your sinister whisper lose its threat. And now your lack of voice is accompanied by toothlessness. And I believe old dogs are due arrest. So now, are you the head? What foolishness? Eckhart, I am due respect. I'm not Eckhart. I'm the noose around your neck. Quinn, your eyes have never looked greener. Revealing the child behind your manly demeanor. I'm amused at your scheming and attempts to coerce. You thought yourself the only one who carries my words? 
The reign to embezzle has led to betrayal, and this tame insurrection has epically failed. You call me toothless, but my mouth lacks no wisdom. What you see as weakness is careful conviction. Tongue is a fork, your blade may be sharp. Here's a lunar eclipse, and you're afraid of the dark. Mark where you stand. It's the end of your path. Your attempt to attack? <laughs> Stop dead in its tracks. It's you that's been playing with weighted dice. Say goodbye, Quinn, for now is the hour you pay the price. None can circumnavigate the barrier of fate. None can circumnavigate the barrier of fate. None can circumnavigate the barrier of fate. Fine. Before you show compassion to this snake, your chariot awaits. To father, uncover the beast. Uncover the beast. and wealth you are just and full of grace with humble praise may we recall this day 